I'm Yulia, I'm Izzy Malkova and I'm from My Flirt with Reality and today I'm coming with you with the review of this book, Poke the Box by Seth Godin. Uh, I like it's not a very big book, so I usually would never buy it. It's like super small, 80 pages. So that's why I made a note to make sure that I don't talk more than, than he wrote. So one thing you need to know about this book and one thing I feel that Thes did when he was writing it, he was super pissed off. I feel that it's not really a book, it's like manifesto. It's 80 pages of manifesto. So the main uh, thing that he wanna say, start doing your shit. And main reason why you don't do it, because you stuck. And when you're stuck and you're just thinking and thinking and overthinking, nothing gets done and you just make a hero out of somebody else and make a victim of you because you don't do it and it's not moving you anywhere. So why it's still worth reading this book? Because for me, even so, like I, I, I'm a doer. I usually start doing things. I really feel motivated of this, this book. And he provided very good arguments why to start. And he provide you, he just put inside of your head some mantras like how, why to move forward. Start, do not wait. Do not wait when somebody will allow you to start. Do not wait for permission. Do not wait till you're exactly ready with everything because this moment may never come. Second thing what was very important here is own your problem, own your idea, own your life. Stop thinking that somebody else will come and help and do and like, like forget about this. Own your shit. I like, I have a couple of quotes that I want to read you. Like he said, soon is not as good as now. And it's one of my favorite quotes of this book. One of the reason why we also do not start is anxiety. And I love how he talks about anxiety. He said, anxiety is experiencing failure in advance. I'm like one pure anxiety very often. So I know these feelings. And unfortunately it is true. We all do not start because we're afraid to fail. And just forget about this shit. Like you can fail and that's fine, but stop thinking about it so much. Avoiding failure is counterproductive. This is what uh, he told about this. And I, and I find this very profound because if you avoid failure, you don't even start, you don't experiment and it is not productive. Another thing that I really like about this book, how he writes about uh, working hard. Working hard means that it involves all your energy to make it work. It's very difficult to fail if you work so hard because if not this thing, the other thing will come out. Kill your ego. It's another thing that is very important. To summarize this, what is important in this book, like what he said, kill your ego, kill your anxiety and start doing your shit. And keep start and keep starting till you finish because if you start and did not finish, it does not count. Excellence, this is the thing that I wanna finish it. The way he thinks about excellence is that if you find something that you love, you will be able to work hard on it. Like without, like having this work shit, work shit balance, work uh, life balance because it's all bullshit. You work so hard because you wanna succeed, because you search for excellence. Like he said, stop waiting for the map because in this world we admire people who draw the map and this is what excellence is about. And in case you're wondering uh, why I have such a weird makeup, I decided also to start something new and that's why I decided not to think how can I be more original, I decided to be more original. I'm not sure if it's a good experiment, but I thought maybe it's gonna be fun exactly for this review. Start doing something new, experiment.